the long segment's coming up, Steve Quell, but we got three minutes to break. Please continue, sir. I've never seen you on fire like this. I guess it's just the times we're living in. Well, Alex, we're about ready to see events that, with no pun intended, are going to go atmospheric. And outside of praying Christians, and I mean this, I believe with all my heart that what we're going to see is God supernaturally delivering people in places of this country. But years ago, I said on the radio, as to specific areas of sin, so will their judgment be. We're seeing episodic quakes happening on the West Coast. We've always heard, oh, California's going to fall off into the ocean. We've seen so much Satanism. We've seen so much demon possession. And ladies and gentlemen, whether you believe it's real or not, this stuff is real. And Alex, that's the key. You can't just blame. Somebody wants to blame this faction or that faction. They want to blame the Jews. They want to blame the Jesuits. They want to blame the Catholics. They want to blame me. They want to blame you. But they don't get the fact that, look, it's not a question of blame. It's identifying the root of evil and these people and you've said it and you've brought your whole i guess you'd say your whole view to this point that there is a supernatural entity a supernatural wisdom directing the total destruction of all morality all values borders language culture and the and it's out of the to get the country and the family and god and particularly hates christians and if you expand on this I mean, the globals will go out of their way to kill a Christian for no reason. Obama won't let Christians get out of Syria. And if you look at it from a science fiction perspective, it's like an interdimensional invasion is basically what this is. Oh, really? And, and can I tell you something? Years ago, I said on talk radio, and this is important, real quick, that the unseen would become visible and that the, the, the things of men's nightmare would come into the physical realm. So when you see all the, all the, the if you will, the gorish, ghastly, everything Hollywood has uh, pretty much produced as leading us oh, to the Oh, they admit time. now with all the Hollywood shows and Super Bowl things with all the Satanism, they believe they're bringing this power in. They admit they're doing rituals. Absolutely. It's ritual magic. It's serious. And by the way, the Satanists believe in the power of, of uh, the, the, the entity they serve. I wish the Christians would absolutely have a revelation from the living God that greater is he, the Lord Jesus Christ. But that's a good point. I, I, I agree. Why are the Satanists, when we come back, suddenly coming out of the woodwork? Why are they being so obvious now? It's like, again, it's like all hell's breaking loose and it's only intensifying. Well, it is simply because the salt has lost its savor and the light of the world, the gospel of Jesus Christ, has gone out. Now, people hate to hear me say that. They like to hear what I know, but they don't want to hear this talk about Jesus. Well, Jesus is the one that told us all this is going to happen in the book of Revelation. Well, I'll tell you this right now. I've been fighting the globalists for 25 years, and I tell you, there's one thing they hate, and that's the word, the name Jesus Christ. And Amen. I tell you, that's, that's, that's the power. And it's real. They hate it for whatever reason. You hate these and people don't you know, get it. You're off in your own la-la land. But your elite masters are a bunch of devil-worshipping, Lucifer-loving trash. We'll be back.